Generic greetings and welcome to Preview Plus Influx. This is an adventure puzzle game created by Impromptu Games and you control this guy. This is Derek. Well, actually I have no idea what his name is, but let's nickname him Derek. He mysteriously fell from the sky at the start of the game and crashed onto, well, what appears to be some sort of island. And your objective is to pretty much explore the island and to do a couple of puzzles in some weird greenhouse things. Sounds a bit weird, I know, but let's have a, let's have a quick look. Anyway, you can roll around by using A, W, S and D and you also have a couple of other abilities. Abilities that um, normal balls don't have. For example, you can see when I get close to these rocks, they sort of highlight blue. That's because they're in my um, area of influence. I can use left click to attract them to me ah, and get absolutely swamped by big boulders five times my size. Or I can use right click, which sort of pushes them away. This ball definitely has some attraction and detraction. And, you know, we'll just go past them and we'll move along. That was a very simple puzzle element. Not really a puzzle element, really. It's more of just a pushing things around. Uh, and we can, ooh, look at the nice scenery and fall off a big cliff. Uh Oh, there we go. Looks like you can't take damage. Well, actually, I knew you couldn't take damage. But anyway, yes, we've, uh, we, like I say, the idea is to explore the island. Ooh, look at that. Very pretty god rays coming through there. That's one thing to mention straight away. This is a very pretty game. Like I say, your objective is to explore the island, and as I've only played about half an hour, maybe an hour of this game, I'm not too sure what the like the final objective is. I'm hoping it's just to explore and have fun rather than some sort of overarching story that complicates matters because it, it's a very pretty game and I and the sounds nice. It's very relaxing, which is, you know, I hope hopefully that is just the prime directive of the game, just to be nice and relaxing and enjoyable rather than having some stupid story attached to it. But anyway, um you can see I'm collecting these what look like they look like blue fireflies. Basically, you have to collect these as you go along to unlock the greenhouse areas, which I will show you in a moment. But let me just have a quick explore around here. Very pretty looking around here. Oh, some nice boulders. We can just push them away for one, two. There we go. <laughs> just push them in the corner for no reason. There we go. And we'll come around here. I like the lighting that comes out with the ball. That's very pretty. And, ooh. Ooh, look at that. Pretty. Stoke. <laughs> right, there we go. Ooh, very nice. Yeah, we're definitely on some sort of island. Oh, and there's one of our greenhouses. Perfect timing. So let's have a let's have a roll over and see what's there. Oh, just bounce off that. So these little fireflies, these unlock these greenhouses. So the idea is that you wander around the island or roll around the island and you collect these little fireflies. That means you have to explore. I mean, I like to explore anyway, but I guess if there's an objective needed, then your objective is to look for these little firefly guys. Then you take it over to this sort of beacon at the front. They'll fly into it. I said they'll fly into it. They'll fly it, there we go, and they'll unlock the greenhouse like that, and then we can just fly in, and whoosh. We load into a different zone, which is really weird. I mean, this is quite surreal. Uh, we're in like, an, an, like, now like a, now this is the sort of puzzle part of the game. Um, you can see there's like an orange box up there, and there's also like what looks like to be an orange orb here as well. We can attract it and detract it, I guess, and we can push it, uh, pull it towards us. And our objective is to get that ball into that crate. So let's see what we can do. Well. As I've already done this puzzle, I will show you, because I don't have to actually think about it. You need to drag the ball over here. There we go. Now, you can see, it looks like that path goes up there. Well, it does do, It does go up there. You're thinking, hang on, how do you get up there? Well, we can't roll up. Let's have a try. No, we cannot do that. Let's just, let's just attract this thing here. Come on. Come here. Come here. There we go. And what we're going to do is stand on this pad. You can see it's got, like, some uh, arrows on it. If I stand on that, the whole thing turns around. <laughs> <laughs> the whole room just spins around and there we go and now we're round and now we need to go over there and land down here and I failed I've fallen on the ground that's okay though what I need to do is make sure that the ball is in the tunnel which it is it's in that tunnel there and stand on this pad here which should turn it back around to its original orientation there we go, and there we go there's one of the uh, things that I do not like about the game the camera can be Somewhat annoying sometimes it can get like like now look I can't really I mean you, you move the camera with your mouse But sometimes it gets trapped in the corners. I mean, I don't pretend to know a solution for it But it is quite annoying sometimes Anyway, let's drag this ball towards us. Come on. There we go. And you can see there's obviously little uh, Gantries on the side little uh, railings so it can't fall off when you drag it and then let go And then it should go down the chute and fall into there objective complete and we've completed that greenhouse And it means we're now outside there we go perfect so, let's have another little explore. Ooh, look at that. That's very pretty. Like I say, the graphics are... 
I wouldn't say they're overly complicated because it is just at the moment anyway some rocks and some trees and some grass and stuff but then we have got some nice lighting and it's just a nice place to be. I say it's not complicated it is just a nice place to be. Let's have a wander up here and see what we find. We're looking for these balls these little fireflies so we'll just attract. There we go come on. Anything around there? Nope. And there's one over here though. Attract it. You only need to press the attraction once and it will then come towards you like that. We're getting some uh, frame rate slowdown, which sadly is another thing I've been experiencing. I don't know whether that's my machine or the game, however, so I can't really mark it down for that. But it ha I mean, there you go. I get, I get little frame stutters where I'm getting a good solid 60 frames and then it goes bump to like 5 and then jumps back up again. Like I say, I don't know whether that's due to my machine or whether it's just, you know, the, the way it loads. Because it loads, uh, you can see it's popping up loading on the left-hand side and you also get a little uh, other thing on the right-hand side, bottom right, where it shows you that it's loading and saving. So I don't know whether it's due to that or whether it's just my machine so we'll ignore it for now anyway so I've collected these I'm going to run up this way because I know where we need to go we've got some doors here so can we just ram them bang no that doesn't work let's attract them shall we there we go that's nice and then we can get through the doors there's also a couple of rocks there should we bring that rock with us come on oh a new rock he's called Edward Edward and Derek best of friends ow oh, and now Edward's trying to crush Derek get out my way right you know what don't need friends like him. Let's move on. Uh, oh, in some sort of village. Hmm. What's this all about? Is anyone in? Hello? Nope. That Okay, that, that really smells of bison, in that tent. Let's just move on, shall we? Uh, well, the fires are dying out. And... Hmm, the huts look a bit... Well, derelict. So I'm guessing nobody's home. Um, I'm going to push these rocks out of the way because falling in water is not good for the ball. As you can imagine, some weird space ball like this with loads of lights coming out of it with some, well, glowy blue orbs. If you land in water, it's not good. It's it's it pretty much game over at the end. It'll load you pretty much where you fell off in, which is okay. It's not like, a, oh, I'll restart the entire level. Ha ha. So anyway, let's go for this thing and push it outwards. Oh, do we push it outwards? No, we pull it towards us. Come on. This way. This way. There we go. And then we'll fly in. Uh, there's one good thing. You can, uh, one thing I discovered as well. It can really make some uh, nice shapes. When you press the left mouse button, it does that. That's your attraction. When you press the right one, it goes out. If you just left, right, left and right click, you can do that. That's really surreal, right? <laughs> anyway, let's go up to this thing. Uh, that looks like that's powered up. You can see. I like that effect. The way it's like rippling, as if it's like a, another world. Yeah, let's go in. And. Let's go in our other greenhouse. I don't actually know what these greenhouses are all about, but I've, I do actually like them. They're very, very weird. But uh, I guess that's part of the discovery part, isn't it? Anyway, let's uh, hit that. Oh, no, you can't hit that. You have to stand on it. We need to get... You can see the balls down there and the pipe. You can see a line, the little... Yeah, you can see glowing and zipping off. That's where we need to get that area, uh, thing over there. So let's go down here, shall we? There's our ball, right? Let's take you this way, shall we? Yeah, come this way. And come here, and let's stand on this thing. I don't know if this is the right way, but hey ho. And this should spin the camera. Whoa! <laughs> this is spinning the whole area around. You can see the lighting. Oh, very nice. Like you say, oh, there we go. There's a camera glitching out again. That is quite annoying sometimes, but minor. You can get it. You can, you can work around it. You just spin it around. No! The ball fell off. Damn it, blast. Let's go back down. <laughs> right, when that goes down. Like that, we can then attract it. Come on, come here. Right now, stay on here. Don't stay. I'm gonna. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stay here and push it that way. No, now I'm gonna drag it that way. Come on, follow me. Follow me. There we go. And round here. And where's the best place to take this? Come here. And do we need to take it here? Down here? I'm, I'm guessing over here. Um, I have no idea though. But you know, we're, we're going this way nonetheless. And then up and around and down here. Have done. Crush me. Get out of the way. Right, okay, um, now I'm guessing this way, if I drag it over here, there we go, and oh, now it's, it's far bigger than me, get out of my way, <laughs> stand on this, and that should spin the whole thing around again, I really like these puzzles, these are really good, the thing is they're not overly complex, but they are challenging enough to get you thinking just where you need to go, so let's fall off in, oh, fall here, oh, we need, some, we need to get some speed up on that ball, otherwise it's not going to make it, there we go. If you do fail, it will drop the ground, and you, just have, you do have to try again. But it's not like a, you know, it's not very harsh. It's not like, ah, you're dead, haha. -ha. It is, um, you know, I like the way you have to explore the level, and then you figure out the way for the puzzle, and then you can go and do it. I, I, I don't, you know, it is, I like it. I just like it. I, I can't really explain exactly why, what I like about it, but I do like it. Now we get a, um, 
another ability. Basically, you can do a little charge. You hold spacebar, and then it blasts you like that. Ooh, there we go. And you can also fall in the water. Yeah, there's me gone. <laughs> there's my... My, there's my planned demonstration of what happens when you fall in the water. So yeah, you can hold space and it slows time down as you can see, but it also charges the ball up. And then when you let go, it blasts you like that. But you can also do it in midair and blast yourself that way. Look at that lighting, that's very pretty. You can see there's like a blue beam over there. Oh, shite. Whew. That was planned. <laughs> Bloody hell. Yeah, you can see there's like a blue beam. That's where we came from. You can see the firing off into the, uh, into the stratosphere. For what reason, I am unto I am not sure. Anyway, uh, let's go and do our next uh, objective, shall we? Let's go up here by going like that and ramp up. Nah, no, that totally failed. Let's try that again and bosh. Oh, oh, there we go. We're up, we're up, we're up. So, we're just exploring. This. It's got like, um, you can see the, oh, there's all the nice little orbs in there. Come on, come with me. Attract them. There's still one left. There we go. Yeah, you can see there's like um, a couple of layers of um, civilization, really. You've got like this, obviously, this island sort of thing. I mean, lovely waterfalls and all of this. I mean, look at that. That is quite beautiful. Lovely. And then you've got you've got that sort of, uh, you've got all that. And then you've got all this woodwork and the huts that we've seen before. It's very primitive. And then we've got all of these weird, like, I don't know, greenhouse things. As well as a ball that's crashed here somehow. Either way, it's weird and it's interesting. Let's just jump over there. And hopefully that would have made them lock into that. It did! Right, you can either bang and that should be open. Yes, it is. There we go. I love that where it's flexing around and it's blasting. Yum! Straight in. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. So, we're going to do our space bar built again. There we go. And now we've got another puzzle element. We've got like a little fan. So, we'll get we'll go up here. And then we'll blast ourselves over to over there. Hmm. Now I'm going to have to undo that. Oi! When I say undo, I mean blast myself and smash into a wall. Alright, let's go up here. And as soon as we get the top, blast ourselves like so. There we go. But I've, I've overcocked that, haven't I? <laughs> I overdid that uh, somewhat. Right. Don't need as much power now, so we'll go up and go. There we go. And we can do it in your, you can do it in midair just to slow yourself down. Oh, I love them particle effects and the dust. Lovely. And then we go up here and then boom. Okay. And aim the boost over to there. Yes, made it just. And there we go, we've completed the puzzle. I like the way when you complete the puzzle, you can actually look at the puzzle again. Like, look, there it is, there. That's without all, all of the stuff going around it. Like, obviously, we had that weird star, all the, like, sort of star things that was around it. But now we can see it in its, um, un-starry glory, I guess. <laughs> Basically, when you're inside, you don't see all of this, uh, you don't see all of this nice, serene... Uh, foliage and stuff when you're inside you see that blue star pattern, but when you're outside you can see in Very pretty anyway. It like I say it makes me wonder like what these things are about and I'd, I hope it is explained at some point But I just hope that um, it does keep on going with the whole uh, you know you are just uh, you know Able to explore and enjoy it. Anyway, let's have a look around here. I'm guessing it's gonna be very beautiful up here So why not? Let's have a look um, I'm using mouse and keyboard for this, but I believe you can use a gamepad, and I have a feeling that it'll probably be better on a gamepad. I don't know why, I just think it would be. Although, obviously, you've got the ability to quickly spin the camera around with you got a mouse. Uh, but I don't know, I think it'd probably work. This is just my assumption, but I think it'd probably work just as well with a gamepad. Oh, that music. Very relaxing. I like it. Anyway, let's collect all these, and I think that'll do us nicely. Oh, can we ramp off that? And blast! That's grass camp. Oh, straight onto that. There we go. Blast it along. And we'll go up and around here, and up here as well. There we go. There's that frame stutter again, which it is getting a little bit annoying. Ah, well. Let's go up and around here. Look at that. That's very pretty. That lighting. I think we've got all of the... Uh, Little fireflies we need now. I don't know how many you need. I believe... I'm guessing it's around five to six. I don't exactly know. And I don't think... Well, I don't think the game tells you what's in here. Is that a big hole? That is a big hole. Well, we're going to have to have a look at that, aren't we? Let's see, get up here. A uh, little boost, maybe. little boost to get up here. Uh, no, little boost to get up there. Come on. Uh, up, up, up. Get up the top. Come on. There we go. Yes, yes. Right. It's a hole. Shall I go down it? Um, yeah, why not? Let's fall down the big hole. Yay, magic! No, it's just it's just a respawn. <laughs> right. I had to explore it, didn't I? Anyway, let's charge down here. You can really get some speed up and momentum on this one. Look at that. Yes. 
Come on, keep blasting forward. Oh, there's another greenhouse. Oh, I just slammed into that. And up here. Keep going. Lovely, lovely. And see how many we've got there. We've got five by the look of it. So one, two, three, four, five. There we go. Oh, looks like it only needed a couple. And let's blast inside. Now, I've never done this one, so what? I have no idea what this one's going to be like. So, we have a pad that can spin it around, but it looks like it requires the orange ball because it is actually an orange pad. So, what's down here? Oh, there's our orange ball down there. There we go. So, let's grab this orange ball, shall we? Come with me. Um, now, what are these? These are pink things, so what do they do? Oh, the flip, yeah. Ah, oh, that's pretty good. Oh, and it's flipping that one as well. Is it going to land in the other one? It is. It's going to flip it up, surely. Blee, there we go, and kabosh. Oh, that's cool. I like that. That is pretty good. Like I say, it's um, it, it starts introducing um, different puzzle elements that, that doesn't they don't seem to be too difficult, but they are you know nice enough to be challenging. Here we go. Let's jump in here, and oh, that didn't work probably at all. <laughs> Looks like the blue ball's a lot lighter, so it uh, goes a lot further. <laughs> Come on, flip us in. There we go. Oh, that, why'd that ball make it before me? Right. Um. Ah, I, I reckon I know what I need to do here. Hang on, there's another one of them camera things. I need to look at that, but for some reason the camera clips through that, but then it doesn't clip through the side bits. Not a big fan of that, I must admit. Sometimes with this camera thing. I'm, it's, I mean, it's not major, but it is annoying in some cases. Anyway, we need to drag this here, because when I flip, I'm just going to hit that and do nothing, but when the other one hits, it should hit it and spin the whole thing around like it is now. Yes. There we go. Spin it round, and... Now where do I need to... Oh, hang on, now this is going down. <laughs> and we need to drag this into this thing, which should complete us. There we go. Lovely. And there we go, and then we can see it and it's like, not lit up glory, as if it's powered down. Oh, what the hell is that? Can anyone else hear that? That sounds like lightning. Hmm. Why is, is it gonna rain? That'd be very pretty if it starts raining. That'd be very nice. Well, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to explore around this bit, Anna. I can't not leave. I can't not explore around here. Let's have a look. Oh, well, it has got its frame rate issues around here. There we go. Eh, there's nothing around here. Oh, I had to have a look. I say the game sort of rewards you exploring, and I'm trapped in the floor. Oh, don't say I'm trapped. Come on, come on, get out the, get out the hole, get out the hole. There we go. We're out. We're good. Whew. There we go, um, and we'll come over here, and I wonder what that is, is it going to rain? Because this, I bet if it rains, that'll look really nice, that'll look very pretty with all the rain coming down, especially with all these lighting, oh, there's a ball, get that little thing, and we'll come up here, and see if we can find any more, any more around, nope, can't see any more, we're going to go through a little cave, oh we are, oh look at that, god rays coming through, let's blast out the other side, yeah, all right. Ah, that wasn't rain. <laughs> that was the volcano over in there, over there. Um, I have a feeling I know where these uh, natives have gone now. <laughs> They've probably saw the impending dune of a volcano blowing up and just ran away. <laughs> oh, that is good. Ah, so again, I'm I'm trying to figure out. I'm wondering why. I'm wondering why the ball's here, Where, why all these other things are here, where these other people have gone, why there's a volcano going off. I like this game, I think I can definitely give it a recommendation, I, I like this a lot. The thing is, we don't really have enough puzzle games, and the puzzle games that we do have, some of them tend to be a quite hit and miss. Um, but this, this seems quite good, it's relaxing, I like the soundtrack, uh, the graphics are very pretty. The, I mean, at the moment they're quite simplified. Like I say, it's just like a little desert island, but who doesn't... Well, not a desert island, it's just an island, but who doesn't want to explore an island? Oh, And now we get to explore the beach. Um, I know that there is um, other levels as well, uh, where it's not just on the island. I believe you go like... Uh, I, I believe it's like an underground level, but I don't really want to spoil it. Uh, I don't really want to spoil it too much, but, uh, but when you basically when you click on the levels, you can have a look at all the levels and the ones that are locked, and they do look very pretty. I'm actually looking forward to... Uh, continue on playing this. But anyway, I've shown you as much as I think I really want to and need to, really. Um, yeah, I actually like this. I think it's I think it's very good. It's not perfect. I mean, there's like you say, there's a couple of things that are sort of niggling at me. The main one is the 
uh, the, the frame rate drops now and again, and I don't know whether that's due to it. Like I say, it does load on the fly, by the way. You can see it says loading on the left-hand side now and again, and, but I don't know whether that's my machine or whether it's the game being a bit stuttery. I believe it's the latter, but it's not it's not a big problem, you know, it works fine, um, and oh, look at that, small price to pay to look at nice scenery like that. Uh, like I say, there's a couple of camera issues that, you know, again, a little bit annoying, but it, it, none of, n neither of these issues really affect the way you play. It's still a very good game for, you know, for the, for the puzzle. So far, every every puzzle I've played, I've really enjoyed it. There's never been an annoying, like, Twitch-based, horrible, you know, jump-around fest that you have to have the... You know, I don't know the, the reactions of an electrified cat to get past you. You know, it's all quite relaxing. You can figure it out. You know, there might be a bit where you have to, you know, be very precise and bring the balls around and you know move things around or jump on certain points. But it's never been annoying so far, which is quite good. I really like the way the game looks. It's very relaxing, just exploring. Like I say, I would recommend this certainly. Uh, links in the description so you can check it out yourself. Um, also, there's a link to the green, Steam Greenlight page because I believe they are trying to get greenlit. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. Like I say, I like this. We don't we don't have enough puzzle games, and you know, more is always good. I guess. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, and generic partings.